everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I'm gonna do a little recipe today using a cowboy lollipop, which is a shin of beef. And this is gonna be absolutely magnificent. We're gonna start by smoking it and then we're gonna turn it into like a sort of a Moroccan style dish. You can pretty much vary any of this to suit your own flavors and sort of taste buds. Uh, so let's give it a go. So I've got the BK all set up. I've been using the Big K BCH charcoal, which burns just fantastically. And I've got a little bit of cherry wood in there at the bottom, just to bring through some of that smoky flavor. There's a pan in here, which the meat is gonna sit on. That's the Petromax pan. It's a massive skillet, but eventually the meat's gonna fall off of this bone and we're gonna be able to push all, all of that aside and mix in the other ingredients. So let's get straight to it and let's get this smoking. The first error I've made is I've had to lower it down because the uh, the shin bone is so long, the lid just will not shut. So we're gonna go lower in the BK today and uh, it should be fine. Now you can do what you want with that shin. Uh, you could uh, rub that in some oil and salt and pepper it. You could rub it in some mustard. Uh, you could put a, a barbecue rub on that, whatever you fancy. Now I'm gonna let that sit for an hour and then we're gonna sort of see what's uh, happening with the color. Uh, keeping on the temperature, things like that. And whilst I'm waiting, you could be so kind to hit that subscribe button. That would be very, very pleasant. Um, that really does mean everything to me. And it just means that um, as the subscribers climb, which I'm so grateful for, um, it just sort of spurs me on to keep making more content. So um, yeah, thanks in advance. So it's been an hour now. Uh, let's have a quick look and see what we can see. Wow. That is looking pretty damn good for the first hour. Really pleased with that. Really, really pleased. Marrow starting to um, sort of soften there. So we'll keep going with this. Again, holding a great temperature. So we're two hours in now. Oh, that's looking good, isn't it? Okay, so three hours in now. Wow. Look at that, it's starting to shrink now. Oh, wow. That is looking really special. So I should take advantage of this fat now and just fry off the onions, the garlic, and a little thyme in there. Okay, so I've drained uh, the fat from now this one into here, and I put some Hasselbacks in there, a little bit of salt over the top and then we're gonna add some of this beautiful beef steak wine in there and some good old passata a good old stir round and some lovely chickpeas and then we'll shut the lid and let that do its thing again so we're about four odd hours in now that is looking super sexy i think we're gonna go a little bit longer it's fall it's starting to fall off the bone we're not quite there yet i'm gonna see if i can get this off now just to stop this drying out i'm gonna put a little beef stock in here so we're about eight hours in now and it is just looking so good. And that is proper tender. Let's get that served up now. And there we go. It is all ready to eat. 